my friends, how are you doing? Today we're going to uh, tackle the age old question of uh, how high do I tee up my golf ball when I'm hitting my driver? Getting down to the nitty gritty today. Let's go. All right, thanks for uh, tuning in. All right, I've got my uh, Titleist TS3, just so you know for reference, uh, 9.5 degree. The face on this is about two and a half inches, give or take, a little over that. Here you go. Boom. My golf ball is, uh, I don't know, it's round. Inch and a half. My tee, two and three quarters. I'm not Mr. Precise. Okay, so we've got to figure out where uh, the correct height is and it's different for everybody. So there's some things you have to know first before you even begin to figure out how high to tee up your ball because it will be different for everybody. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, first things first, what you have to do, number one, is figure out um, what your attack angle is when you're hitting your driver. That's first and foremost. It's the best drive I had in two weeks. So if you don't know your attack angle, you're never going to know where to tee it up for you. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get, uh, what I do, is get my blast motion sensor because I want to know my attack angle, especially with my driver. That's really critical. And this is not a ad for blast motion. It's just the thing that I have found that works really well in terms of, you know, telling you your attack angle. So it's just this little sensor you connect on the bottom of your club. Then you just uh, connect it to your device. We're good. And uh, I'm hitting driver. So, and it gives me a good uh, indication of where I should be in my attack angle, okay? And it will, uh, it will show you that. So you wanna know that first and foremost, okay? Because if you hit down on the ball, your tee height's gonna be different than if you hit up. So let's see where my attack angle is. So this is just kind of my standard swing setup, everything. Great, hit it pretty good. Then I go, I look at my attack angle, and great, it says it's good. It's slightly on the upswing, just slightly, okay? But if, let's say, let's say you're one of these people and you hit it on the, uh, the downswing, okay? See, it'll tell you. It says almost good, so it was on the downswing, and that ball was a low hook. So that's going to be important to know because you're going to adjust your T height in regard to your attack angle. Okay, the other thing you're going to need, and I'll leave links in the description below for everything. I do get a little uh, commission if you use the link for the blast motion, just to be upfront, okay? Small commission, and uh, I'll link these. These will be on Amazon. These are just golf impact tape, so whatever, just search out. These are cheap, easy to get, but I'll leave a link for this stuff too. So you have that because you're going to want to know, and I'll show you the, um, the difference in terms of attack angle. And I'll show you, this is why T height's going to matter. So this pack comes with wood, iron, and um, lie angle tape. So that's good. All right. So I'll just take out one of the woods. And uh, what I'm going to do is put this just you know, right, I really want that middle line. I really want to line up that middle line right there the best I can. See that? Just be consistent with where you put this stuff. Okay. That's fine. It's a little crooked, but it's going to show me either way where on the club face I'm hitting. So let's do my normal swing again. Okay. Same T height, right? Here's my regular swing. Blast motion will tell me what we're doing. That was a good drive. You want to notice? Okay, so this says not good. So I was way too much on the upswing, which is kind of like uh, what happens. But notice where I struck it. Bam, I mean, that's pretty good. 
right in the middle of the face, a little higher on the club face, and almost dead center. But now watch, I'm gonna tee it exactly the same this time. And this time I'm gonna hit really down on it. I'm gonna show you what happens. One, that's a low bullet, which is nice. Okay, and again, I was way too much on the downswing here, according to Blast Motion, which is good. And that second one was, it was roughly kind of the same height, but much more on the heel. Okay, so I know now the swings where I am when I hit up or normal versus when I hit down on the golf ball, okay? So you need to know that for yourself. And then you have your impact tape. Now, when I hit down on it, I'm much more on the heel about the same height. So that T height didn't affect me so much. Now, a lot of people say you want that T height to come so that half the ball is above the T or above the club head when you set up. Okay, that's kind of like a, the baseline positioning. But in reality, it depends on your tack angle. So if you hit down on the golf ball a lot, Okay, that means your club's coming down. What's gonna happen is, and you could see it here, that when I swung down, I'm a little bit higher on the club face. Okay, not a lot, but a little bit. And I'm, I don't know, I'm a better player, so I'm able to get uh, you know, the ball kind of in the center of the face a little bit more often. But let's say, we'll use a new piece of tape. You're kind of the average, average player, which most of us out there are okay so now we're gonna put a new fresh tape on there okay this is why you have to do these these tests because if you tee it up too high it's going to encourage you to miss hit the ball now I'm doing blast motion so you can see let's watch my normal swing teed up much lower than I normally do but more let's say standard to what everybody says And that's a great golf shot. And I'm still coming up on the ball. Okay. And okay, hit it a little lower. Great. Okay. So here's what we want to do. That's with me. That's hitting down. So if you hit down on the golf ball, if you're a down hitter on the golf ball, what you're going to want to do is tee it even lower. You got to come a lot lower in the, in the tee height. Because when you swing attack angle down, right, the club's coming down, you're gonna hit naturally higher on the club face. So I'm gonna swing down on this golf ball. It's teed up. I don't think any of the ball is really above the tee. It's pretty low. I'll get it a little bit lower than that, kind of right in that zone. This would be a low tee height, but I'm gonna hit down on that golf ball, like a lot of people do. Good. So pretty down on it. And if you look, that new one's way up here, really in a good position. That's that one, okay? Okay, and when do you, when do you tee it really high, right? A lot of people think teeing it high is so I can hit it really far or hit it higher. Again, it is sometimes, but in reality, it's all dependent on your attack angle. So if I swing really up on it, if I have too much of an upswing, I'm gonna want it teed up higher, okay? Or if you put it too far forward in your stance, you're gonna want it higher. If you're more comfortable with the ball forward, go higher, okay? Because that club's gonna be coming up and you wanna catch it uh, at the right spot on the club face. If you put it back, you're gonna to wanna to tee lower, because if it's too high, you're gonna hit the top of your driver. You don't want that. So I like teeing it pretty high. That's kind of me there. But I swing really up on the golf ball, and I put it slightly forward, like so. That was good. That was great. And you know, they're all right in here. A little up there, I'll get a new tape here for this last one and we'll look at it. Okay, new tape for the last one. So going back to that kind of standard T height, this is gonna be more of your level swing right at the bottom of your swing arc to slightly up on the golf ball, 
or if you hit it down, if you hit down on it, you want to go a little bit lower. And those are going to kind of be your, your key checkpoints. If you're coming, if you're descending on the ball like this, your tack angle is too steep, okay, then you're going to tee it lower. If your attack angle is too up, you're hitting up here, I would tee it up a little higher, okay? And then find the right spot that matches for you, but you're gonna have to check it with some, some type of tape to indicate where you, where you hit it. And then you get kind of the standard tee height here, which is pretty good. And those are really good. That's like a good height for me right now based on that attack angle and where I'm hitting it. That's really good. You want it higher up on this club face, center and high. That was almost, that was almost perfect. And you'll start dialing it in the perfect position for you. But to say, here's the perfect T height, you can't do that. You have to have some analytics and some information to go on so that you can know the right T height for you. It's gonna be different for everybody, depending on, and it really depends on that attack angle coming into the golf ball. And, uh, and then you'll find it, and then mess around with the T heights, try different things, and what you'll find is that, oh, you'll start, your swing will sort of adjust a little bit, you'll work some stuff out as you adjust that T height to get it in the perfect position for you. Hope this video was helpful. You know, get out there, mess around, find out, analyze things so you know. There's no one size fits all when it comes to tee height. You're going to have to figure it out. And I get this question all the time, so I thought I'd do kind of a little more of a look into the perfect height so you know what's right for you. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.